Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Britain pulls out of FG contract with Chinese firm after test kits were found contaminated with coronavirus. British PM Boris Johnson is said to have decided to pull out of the 5G contract with Chinese frame. Organizer.Hodge reported that the British PM came to the decision after he was furious about a recent shipment of test kits banned for the UK were found to be contaminated with virus. Furthermore, Boris Johnson too is said to have gone into self-quarantine after being tested positive for coronavirus. The test kits were assembled in Lusabrunch by Food Safety and Laboratory Testing Services firm Herofins. The infected elements are probes and primers. The long, thin swab that medical personnel use to collect samples from the NASA and horror cavities. Herofins has said that the infected elements were supplied by China. British politicians across party lines are angry that China did not inform the world about the true spread of coronavirus in time and also for not taking the crucial consignment of test kits seriously as they have gone as they have come infected with coronavirus. Many have started to question if the Chinese government deliberately hide the information about the contamination as many other countries have alleged. The contamination of the test kits will further delay the testing of British citizens which has everyone in the country concerned. China has also been indulging in massive PR exercise the world over in a bid to stop anyone from blaming them for the coronavirus. First, the Chinese government tried to blame the U.S. soldiers and later pinned the blame on Hitler itself. People and governments around the world are waking up to the evil machinations of the Chinese government to take control of the world using dubious means. Chinese companies have been trying to influence decisions in many African countries and Australia too. In India too. Many organizations have warned the government to be extremely wary of the Chinese and their products. In January, Jaran March requested the central government to ban participation of Chinese companies in FG trials in view of national security and privacy issues. The SGM had said that there is ample evidence that led to suspicions of Chinese companies indulging in the exfiltrating sensitive information from devices and equipment that is export, why it must be stopped from the FG trials. Wow. So guys, what is your take about this? What do you think about the huge step that the British Prime Minister took? I think that's a very big one. Because this China at the cause of everything that happened. You can imagine a test kit was contaminated. This is to tell you that they did it intentionally because they are supposed to be very, very careful in the first place. And also this virus has occurred in, the, in China, at least it, it has already spread in China and they know already. So, and they are bringing their test kits to UK. You can imagine, you know, this is to tell you that they are being, they are, they really do it intentionally and the thing is that I pity our Nigerian country. Trust me. I pity our Nigerian country. Seriously. Now, they brought Chine Chinese doctors to Nigeria without knowing their intention. I don't know why they are doing this. At least, they must have seen all this news before now. Contaminated instruments and all that. And these people, Nigerian governments, they didn't learn from them. From all this news that we are, they, we are seeing every day. And now they are bringing in these people to our country again. Trust me, I pity them. I pity them seriously. 
And the thing is that concerning the British government, they know the bad effect of the FG, trust me, and subsequently placed restrictions on these facilities. Nigerian governments are intimidating and possibly prosecuting individuals opposing them on the danger this FG intend to portend. I'm telling you, the, and the thing is that maybe Nigeria that doesn't even exist on this planet Earth to be reading through the line and act proactively. Maybe they are not, they don't really follow what is going on. Because this government is bent on destroying Nigerian citizens. Because they are adamant about this. <laughs> Nigerians, they are so adamant. The doctors cried out. Everybody cried out about bringing in the China, Chinese doctors to Nigerians. Still, they decide to do what comes from their heart, from their mind. They are so adamant. And at the end of the day, they will be the ones to cause trouble in the country. And everybody in the country will suffer from it. I don't know why our Nigerian government, they, they, they are not ready to learn their lesson. At all. Recently, we heard that uh, these Chinese people, they ch chase away all black people from their community. In fact, they threw them away from their hotel, from their houses. They decided not to give them food. If not for the President of the United States that actually sent food to them, how would they be able to survive? So tell me, my question is that, what is our leaders doing about it? What is President Muhammad Buhari and his co-workers doing about it is it supposed to be the responsibility of the united states president to cater for those people or the responsibility of the black president to cater for them this is crazy and it's a slap on our government it's a slap on them and they need to be careful with this with these chinese people because the question that we need to ask ourselves is that who brought this Chinese in this country? Who brought this uh, all this virus? Is it not the Chinese people that brought all this virus? Are they not the cause of all, everything that is going on worldwide? Tell me. So still, Nigerians, they are not ready to learn. Thank God that uh, the Prime Minister of UK knew already about what is going on right now. And is trying to go against the FG or whatever they call it. That is the best thing for now. And uh, Nigerians are saying that even even they have gone to the extent to bribe some old folks who said that they are ICT, this and that. I cite one man talking trash on a rice station this morning. But if they like, they should stop FG or not stop. All I know is I time. We youth will hit the street and take a drastic action that will be bigger than COVID-19. So virtually all Nigerian leaders are demonic and their con conscience is long dead. I have never seen leaders with myopic thinking who only think about themselves, they think about themselves and their families like Nigerian leaders. But all I, all I know is that God knows how to handle them. Trust me, God knows how to handle them. Because that is the only thing we can say for now. Because those people, they are not ready to change. They are not ready to learn from their mistakes. And, they are, and common men are suffering from what they are doing. And that's the problem. They are not ready at all. You know... Nigerians are saying that United States of America, Spain, Italy, Germany, Germany, France, all rejected China kids. But Nigerian government chartered here peace flew for 15 hours to China to bring these killers to Nigeria. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame that these people are doing to us. They brought this, killed these people to Nigeria for assistance with contaminated kids to kill our people despite the public outcry about their comings include Nigerian Medical Association but the Buhari-led clueless federal government went ahead 
They see they even said no going back. That they have made their, their decision. And they eventually brought these people. Hmm. This is serious. What a shame on Nigerian government right now. It's just so unfortunate that they are not ready to learn. They are not ready to learn from their mistakes. So guys, what is your own take about this? What is your comments? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to listen to our latest news. God bless you and always stay safe.